When I posted this video on my physique, I got so many compliments on my biceps. Matter of fact, the part of my body I receive most compliments on are actually my biceps. And I'm not gonna lie, that is the most amazing thing ever for me. Because throughout my whole life, the one thing I was bullied for the most was my skinny arms. So to think that now my arms are my most complimented part of my body, that's crazy. But the question is, how on earth did I grow my biceps? Well, luckily for you, the biceps is a very simple and easy muscle to grow. Firstly, the function of the biceps is to flex the elbow, i.e. bending the arm. Now we need to understand how muscle is built in its most simplest terms. Essentially, we need to train a muscle through its plane of movement with resistance added. Now the plane of movement for a bicep is a curl. This basically means we must flex the elbow with added resistance. Which means the number one best movement for isolating and growing your biceps would be curls however there's a couple more factors we need to keep in mind over here firstly the bicep has two heads the long head and the short head which means if we want to fully develop and grow our biceps so they look as full and big as possible we must adequately train both heads the long head is best trained when the bicep is fully lengthened meaning that typical standing curls do the job this is a great way to hit your overall bicep especially the mid to lengthen position now contrary to popular belief the shoulder does not need to be behind the body in order to bias the long head however if that's something you'd rather do for example by doing incline bicep curls then go for it there's no one size fits all answer to training do what works for you and what you prefer the short head of the biceps is best biased when the bicep is in a shortened position, hence the name. Meaning any exercise that puts the elbow and shoulder in front of your body will do the job. Great examples of this are both spider curls and preacher curls. Now that we know how to train both parts of the biceps, let's talk about how often we should do this. So the biceps is a small muscle group that recovers very quickly, which means at the minimum we should train them 2-3 times a week. And since they're a very small muscle group that's easy to recover, ideally we want to be taking it to failure every time we train them, or at least close to failure. Here's a bonus tip, now the bicep pretty much aids your back in all pulling movements which means an underrated way to grow your biceps would be to do some heavy ass compound moves such as weighted pull ups and some heavy rolls and ladies and gentlemen this is how you give your bicep that complete strong developed look 